Hey guys, so today I am going to be gluing up a skateboard. So I've got my seven sheets of maple veneer right here. And the first thing I'm going to do is file all the corners of this veneer. Those corners can be a little sharp and I just like to do this as a safety precaution to prevent those sharp corners from damaging the vacuum bag. So let me do that real quick. So now that the corners are all filed down so they're not as sharp, I gotta put these veneers in the correct order. So there's three types of veneers in this pile of seven. The first two on the top here, these are called face veneers. So these veneers have the grain, which are these lines. Um, the grain is like the, the rings in the wood. So the grain runs vertically on both of these veneers. These also are pretty good looking, like there's not really any defects, there's no cracks no knots, no discoloration. So the reason these are called face veneers is they go on the outer faces of our skateboard. So next we have these, and we have three of these. These are called core veneers. And the core veneers are almost identical to the face veneers with the exception that they are allowed to have certain imperfections and can have splits, they can have knots. So if you could see this one, it's got a, uh, it's got kind of like this weird split sort of running up it. Um, some of the other ones, these actually look pretty good. These could probably be used as face veneers. Um, some of them you'll see when you start making boards aren't going to look as nice as these ones do. Um, or maybe they'll look better. So we have three of these core veneers. And the third type of veneer are these, and these are called crossband veneers. Notice how much flimsier these are. And that's because the grain, instead of running up and down, it runs across the veneer like this, hence the name crossband. And again, these are allowed to have little imperfections as well, just like the core. And the reason we have these, so you might be wondering, you know, why, why do we even have these? They don't look like they provide any strength. These veneers, when the grain runs this way, strength is provided across the length of the board. So it doesn't really bend well going this way. But what that means is that it is flexible side to side. So it's not that strong like that. Whereas these provide strength in that direction. So they basically provide torsional strength so your board doesn't twist and they give your board more strength across the width rather than across the length. And the way these are all laid up is just like a sandwich and it's symmetrical from top to bottom. So we start with a face veneer, then we have a core and we alternate core and crossband until we run out of them. So core, Crossband, core, crossband, core, and face. And there's one thing you can do to prevent warping with your board over time is some of these veneers are cupped in one direction. As you can see, this one's kind of cupped slightly to the right. It looks like it's a, you know, it's kind of like a C shape or if I hold it like this, you can see that it's a slight C shape. Very, very gradual. It looks more like a parentheses. So if you alternate the way that the cup is for each of these veneers, so if I look at this one, the cup is slightly also in the C direction, so I'll flip it the opposite way. So this one cups up, the other one cups down. By alternating what's called the cup of the veneer, it helps prevent your board from eventually naturally reforming into that cupped position. So that's something I like to try and do.